My friends Nick, Ted and I embarked on a road trip in our camper vans, taking us from Georgia and Alabama respectively to the town of Black Canyon City, just north of Phoenix, Arizona. We would be running the Black Canyon 100K, which starts at Mayer High School in Spring Valley, Arizona, and finishes in Rio Vista, Arizona. While being a net downhill race, it still features just over 6,000 feet of elevation gain. It is not only one of the biggest ultras in the US with nearly 1,000 runners, but it is also Western States qualifier. All right, just grabbing a couple of drop bags, keeping it very minimalistic. Just nutrition for the race. How you doing? I'm cold. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. It's the wind. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Four thirty-five medium, men's medium. You. Thank you very much. check-in, Nick and Ted headed to the hotel in Phoenix, while I drove to the Bumblebee Ranch, which not only hosted one of the major aid stations at mile 19 of the race, but also offered runners a really cheap camping option for the race weekend, with access to both a bathroom and a shower. On the way, I passed the Gloriana Mine aid station at mile 24 of the race. From the ranch, it would just be a short 30-minute drive to an outlet mall in Phoenix, where runners would jump on a shuttle to the race start in the morning. The race organizers had nearly 1,100 K runners separated into three waves to avoid congestion on the shuttles as well as the start line. Four, three, five. Four, three, five. I, yes. <laughs> That's what I was looking hey, for. Hey, it's early. All right, Martin, get on. Oh, Martin! How oh, are cool. you? Hey, I didn't even recognize That's you okay. with the headlamp. Hey. Good to see hey. you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Morning. <laughs> All right, dropping off the finish line bag. So I got some warm clothes when I arrive tonight. I guess we'll find out. Two minutes, perfect timing. Just watch out for runners, it's bad! Yes, Trina. No. Green jacket, right there. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm so nervous, guys. Like, this is good luck. Yeah, good luck. Oh shit, I'm gonna have my kid this. You guys kill it out there today. Let's do this. Here we go.
right. This is a pretty cool single track already. And it's not hot yet, so that makes it extra nice. But you can tell there's a thousand runners in this race. Race update from the Black Canyon 100k. 50 minutes in. Nice and relaxed pace. I think we started just over above 4,000 feet and gonna work our way down for the next 30 so miles to about 2,000 and then there's gonna be some steep ups and downs. But in the race with a thousand runners as expected still a very close field i'm having fun nick you're still having fun I'm having a great time all right perfect so i'll ask him that again and myself in about 40 or 50 miles and see what we say then an hour in time for some energy and what did I dig out of my bag? Chocolate Haven. <laughs> kind of excited about that one. It's a new flavor. I haven't tried. Got about 180 calories. That combined with about 100 calories in fluids gets me full enough. A little downhill. Officially 7.7 .7 miles in. Antelope Mesa, hour 15. As suspected, busy aid station. I'm just gonna roll right through. Water gator. <laughs> what a beautiful course. I'm running into the sun right now, so it's hard to show, I'm sure, but God, sweeping views. Fantastic.
10 miles in, hour 39. We've been descending for a while on smooth single track. Feeling pretty damn good still. It's gonna get hot today, so I'm gonna enjoy these easy miles while I can. Because I'm sure <laughs> we're all gonna be suffering when we get into the canyon and the temperature cranks up. But right now, just enjoying this beautiful desert terrain and feeling amazing. Hidden treasure aid station, mile 12.9, beware of pirates, two hours, five minutes. Nice work, gang. Nice work. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Yep. Well. All right. Go, go. Okay. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Hey, thanks. See you Yes. Watermelon. All right. In and out. Next stop, Bumblebee Ranch. All right. Hey, that's awesome. 6.5 miles. And we'll be there. Date. Two hours, 32 minutes in. Still feeling good. Terrain's become a bit more undulating, even though it's still not downhill. But it's beautiful.
Thank you. All right, rolling into Bumblebee Ranch 8 Station. I actually camped here last night. It's uh, Bumblebee is about 19.2 or something like that. Three hours, 12 minutes. We probably still have about a couple of minutes to go to the actual aid station. And so far, I'm feeling great. Good job, guys. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, yes. Uh, hey, Peter. Right, what's up, man? Hey, congrats on Terrera. Thanks, buddy. Nice yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yo, where's the drop bags, man? How are you doing? Good, where's the drop bags? Drop bags are right all, all over oh, there. Oh, shit. Yeah. See, I would have gone right past it. Hold on. All right. 885. Let's see. So we're Here in it. Um, might be that yellow one over there by the coast. Is that it? It is what it is, you know. So, and then we got hit with another storm, like right after. I saw that, so you had to stay longer. Yeah. What yeah. a shame. I know. All right. <sighs> Leaving Bumblebee Ranch. 322. Got a bit of watermelon, some Coke. Got access to my drop bag with some gels and some drink mix, and on we go. Apparently exposed all the way now, so we'll see. I'm trying to stay moving, not too aggressive, and see how it goes. All right, 20 mile update real quick. Three hours, 39 minutes. Took about eight minutes at Bumblebee aid station. It's getting warmer, but I think my only issue right now is I chucked one of those Soylent drinks and it's kind of sloshing around in my gut right now. So I'm gonna have to take it easy for a bit and let it digest hopefully. But other than that, it's feeling pretty good. Coming into Gloriana Mine Aid Station, mile 24, 4 hours, 22 minutes. This last section was rough. Somehow, what I drank at Bumblebee is not sitting well with me. So, I'm hoping I can just back off and recover. Oh, 
What up, Ted? Hey, Martin. All right. 25 mile update. Four hours, 48 minutes in. Yeah. Something is not right with my stomach. Of all the things, I never really have stomach issues. Feeling very bloated. So, I just gotta back off and see. It's a beautiful race, for sure. Thankfully, I have no time go for today. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. As long as I keep moving and hopefully I get over this stomach thing. I just got went through Soap Creek which is the halfway point six hours 20 I'm having still having some stomach issues so I'm gonna just back off I drank a bunch of coke took a gel filled up my bottles and I'm just gonna walk for a minute and see if I can't recover just gotta take my time it's another 6.2 miles I'm just gonna take it easy I don't know if it's the, the heat or what, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm just gonna keep moving and hopefully recover.
slippery, be careful. Oh. More mud than water. Oh, maybe it's better here. I don't know if that helped. Yeah, I know. Or hurt. <clears throat> Got so much crap in them now, I guess. It'll be dry by Black Canyon. <sighs> All right, we'll make this the 35 mile check in. Um, seven miles, 24 minutes, 34.8 miles. It's going to be a long day today. Stomach's not cooperating. And so, of course. I dialed the food back, which then means the body is not cooperating, so it is what it is. One foot in front of the other. It is beautiful out here, and hopefully as the sun goes down or lower in the sky, maybe it'll cool off, and maybe that'll help. But we'll see. Um, drop bags? Yes. Okay. Five, six, eight. Four, three, five. Seven, seven, three. Ginger ale? Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can go. Thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome. I may need some more. I'll look over there in a minute to try to get my, catch my breath. Thank you. All right. I missed an update it. Black Canyon City aid station because we're now at about 39 miles and I've had uh, jinxed myself before the race stating I never had stomach issues and sure enough about 15 20 miles in I start getting stomach issues and suffice it to say I had a pit stop and had to back for some emodium so yeah that happens in an ultra unfortunately so thankfully Nick caught up to me and it's been great company keeping me moving right now as I'm hoping to keep it together for the remainder we should have ooh we should have uh, less than a marathon to go so, plan is just to keep moving, whatever it takes, and enjoy this scenery without tripping anymore. Fairly technical trails, but beautiful surroundings. Don't look. Huh? Nice. Don't look. But On the right? Yeah. On the left too. <laughs> Trying to eat some dry bread right now. Hoping that that won't make my stomach worse. I'm hoping that the, the modium keeps everything in check. 
and hard to eat anyway and hard to drink so Update nine hours five minutes. As I mentioned before, spent a lot of time in Black Canyon City, but needed it, couldn't be helped. So I just keep moving, and so far, so good. As the sun is getting lower, it's cooled off a bit as well, which helps. I just Every time I push, my stomach wants to do things, so I have to keep teetering and hoping that I keep it together. And I gotta take gels, but I really don't wanna risk it right now, so I'm just gonna try to keep drinking my nutrition. And this is a long section, so I'll have to take a gel at some point. Can't be helped. Hopefully that'll work, won't be problems. Yep. And this is while we're out here right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at these views though. Pretty cool. I'll make this my uh, 45 mile update. 10 hours, 20 minutes. And we're moving very well thanks to Nick because I'm just holding on to him. He must have gotten a second wind. Another update at the next aid station. All right, we're rolling into, uh, what's this one called? It is Cottonwood Gulch, mile 37.4 and it's it's 10 hours 35 minutes I know but it says the official distance is well we can look when we get down there I got two I got two watches in front of me I know All right, another timing mat, sign of life. Okay, we made it here. We did. You're good. All right, so, let's try this. 50 mile update. 11 hours, 41 minutes. I'm not sure if you can see me, probably not. Had a nice little 
semi disaster at the last river crossing of the race literally got my left foot stuck in the river in the mud thankfully Nick had already crossed and was able to pull me out without me losing my shoe which would have been even more disastrous but now I'm carrying half the river bed in my left shoe oh well I'm still moving rolling into table mesa my 50 on paper this morning we hit 50 already 1151 12 miles to go. Thank you, thank you. I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. What's that? Is that what Uh, Alright, fireworks just for us. I wish that was the truth. Shooting ranges on both sides apparently. Rolling into Doe Springs which is supposed to be 57.7. I mean, I'm at 59. I know, but the problem is that the official mileage for 50 was the last aid station and they said 7.7 .7 miles so officially it's 57 i'm over it as well but anyway so either 57.7 .7, and that sounds like we still have freaking five and a half miles to go you think so yeah Fine. i hope you're wrong uh yeah i hope it's three i'm usually i guess short but it's never short so i'm going to say the worst case which is five and a half 2023 black canyon finish nick and i get it done and ted just, ted just behind us where's the math thank you thanks all right getting it done buddy Thank you. You did it. You did it. You look great. I can't walk. Boom. 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 Bo